You've been in this situation many times, up 3-0. What's the biggest challenge to closing it out? How hard is it? Yeah, I mean, look, you're going to have to withstand a punch right here. And, and that's what Michael Malone said. Sometimes when you're down 3 you'll see the opponent let go of the rope a little bit. Here's Russell, his first shot, no good. The struggles continue, rebound Jamal Murray. And Jokic over two to start. Russell's got it, down court, Austin Reeves. He had 22 in game three, misses that one. Rebound Jokic, Reeves had 22. Got off to a good start in game three, but Denver rallied. Murray driving, feeds Jokic. And Jokic gets the bounce, his first points after starting 0 for 2. He's going to shoot a high percentage. I mean, that's just what he does. Uh, he's got that great touch around the rim. He can score from anywhere, and, and he's not going to—he's not going to—a guy that's going to ever shoot under 50 percent. He just rarely does it. Jokic. Jokic thought about and instead drove and gets it up to Murray. Runner for Murray, not there. The tip is Jokic with the left. And going back to what we said at the outset, the other thing about Jokic is the incredible consistency, not just of him, but because he's such a good passer and playmaker, everybody else is consistent. Ball in his fifth year in the league as Porter gets inside. I mean, that pass right there. And 10 points so far. James backing down, now driving, going right at Murray, missed it, and Jokic you can try to pretend like Anthony Davis is demonstrative and is going to yell and scream for the ball. You got to know as his teammate, that's not who he is. That's okay. Seven points so far. He'll take a seat here. Reggie Jackson, who a lot of people thought would not play after the ankle injury in game three, is Jokic with the sweeping hook, drops it through to start the conference semis. And I think that's more important for Denver, and you wonder why. I just think Minnesota's a lot deeper. This Denver team, they don't want to be going long in series. They're playing big minutes with the starters. Boston came back after being down 3-0 and then lost game seven on its home floor to the Heat. Jokic turns it over. James, very active hands on defense, had several deflections and a steal. We feel pretty confident, regardless, unless we're down 40, what the score is, until it comes crunch time. They're very confident in their ability to close. We got a foul in transition here. Denver can hold for the final shot. We'll go to Jokic with eight. Got the smaller Dinwiddie on him. Here comes the double, and Jokic, so smart, sees the double coming. You could argue he's the smartest player in the NBA, if not one of the top three, four, five. He does it with his skill, but that's why he's such a good defender, too. You'd think you'd look at him, he's yet not athletic. Jokic, 7.7 .7 rebounds already and three assists. Knocks down the second free throw, Denver. Here's Caldwell Pope. Jumper is good. And Caldwell Pope, two of two for the floor. Lakers get a basket back up seven at the midway point of the second quarter. Holiday wide open. That's good. A three for the veteran Justin Holiday. For the Lakers. Has been up and down in the series. Up though the last two games and a personal 7-0 Reeves run right now in the last 50 seconds. Jokic fouled, trying to cut. Son Hachimura. It's getting a little bit away. They go back to this guy. Check in with Katie for more. You know, Dave, I thought it was interesting. Jokic says winning is a lifestyle. He was a part of losing seasons in Denver with the style of play, especially when you've won the last three games. So Jokic said he and his teammates can't get bored with success because if they do, things can go wrong really fast. Russell with the basket, and the Lakers had their largest lead at 11. So once again, a double-figure lead. Will they finally hold on to it, though? He's got 12 points, seven rebounds, five assists. Three and a half to go in the first half. Reeves penetrates, stripped by Jokic. Gonna stay with the Lakers. It's nine rebounds already. Jokic on the other end, caught in the air, kicks it out. Porter, long three is up, and good! Second three for Porter. You're 6'10", and you can shoot like that. Even a good contest that doesn't really bother you, and then Porter again keeps the hot shooting up. And ends up in the hands of Davis, and he scores. Again, 13-point lead. We asked Michael Malone here as Jokic leaks out, get, gets the foul. And again, that's just an example. Extend the lead. This is a possession game in the playoffs, Dave. Every possession matters. He just gave up three points he shouldn't have. That's the kind of stuff that's been going on throughout this series, too. You have to believe, right? You have to it starts with believing. And can this Lakers team believe they can get this quarter? Russell lost the handle and a foul call on Jokic as we check in with Katie. Porter around Jokic, buries a three. That's his third three. He's made three of the four. 
Denver three pointers and still swept the Lakers. Yeah, and the best teams are the teams that coach themselves, that police themselves, that hold themselves accountable. And they're certainly one of them. Backing down Caldwell Polk, spins baseline, knocked away by KCP. Good defense. James thought he was fouled. Lakers ball up 13. Hachimura resets, now attacks, puts up a brick. Lead is 15, matching the largest of the game for the Lakers. Jokic drills a three. That's his first three-pointer of the game and his first points of the quarter. He was 0 for 4 prior to that hit. Shot clock at 2. Porter, Jokic got rid of it in time, and it's good. Nikola Jokic knew exactly how much time he had. Step back. Great offensive execution on that possession by Los Angeles. Back to a 15-point lead. Porter's three on the money. 4-3 ball for Michael Porter Jr. Lakers lead back at 10 on the Vincent triple. Here comes Russell in transition. Lost the ball. Turnover. Jokic, oh, what a play. Batting it ahead. He never even saw the ball until it landed. And then a touch pass to the cutter. Catches it last second, flips it over. That's the greatness of Nikola Jokic. He's now one assist shy of a triple-double. Be his second of the series. Davis, floater, no, but he's fouled. 18 rebounds now for AD to go with 23 points and five assists. Davis attacking, blocked from behind by Peyton Watson. Jokic running the break, and he's fouled. But the Lakers responded. I I'm shocked to see he's only 7 of 17. You just don't see that with him. I mean, you see that with a lot of players, just not with this guy, for him to be shooting under 50%. A couple on offensive rebounds, just couldn't stick it back in. He's a streaky player. He can get it going, and he's getting it going right now. The last two shots for the Lakers. And he's got 15, a foul on the Lakers, on Davis. So uh, Russell will go to his space on the foul line. Jokic connects on the first and gets some rest before their next game, which could be against Denver, but the Nuggets have to close things out in this series first. The heck out of the Lakers. Obviously, they're fans, and you see stats like that. Caldwell Pope, Denver needs it, they get it. A three, his first of the game. Gordon fell down, he ran into Davis, so he's not out there to defend James, but LeBron missed the three at point blank range. Oh, what a pass, Jokic to Caldwell Pope. That's assist number 12 for Jokic. Denver guarding out near the midcourt line again, trying to force another turnover. Russell fouled, missed it. It'll shoot two. Murray just 8 of 21 from the floor and 0 of 4 from 3. His pass somehow got to Jokic. It was deflected by James. Laid back to 14, nearing 3 minutes to go. Denver can't trade baskets at this point. Jokic finishes and a foul on Davis. So a chance at a 3-point play in the playoff series. And he's the go-to guy in the fourth quarter against the defending champs. Meanwhile, Jokic completes the three-point play. It's an 11-point game. Gordon back on the LeBron. Russell gets past Caldwell Pope. Cross-court skip pass. Three in and out. It was three-quarters of the way down. For... And now a chance for Denver to cut it to single digits. But James gets the steal and the breakaway and the highlight slam. Laker fans starting to sense that their season isn't over yet on their feet. Caldwell Pope no. got it to fall. <laughs> Hung on the rim forever and dropped, and it's a 10-point game. Gordon's going to take the three. It's not there. Jokic offensive rebound. Fouled and puts it in. It's down to eight and a chance for Denver to get within seven. I just am amazed. We've covered. I feel like we've done Denver's been our last seven games. <laughs> but I love watching this guy. I mean, I, I, I just... He's one of the best, and obviously LeBron and AD, are, they're holding their own in this game, too. Here's Murray. Jokic lobs. Gordon with the finish. 52 seconds left. Seven-point game again. Should the Lakers go to Denver and win, they'd be back here at Crypto.com next Thursday for game six. Final score, Lakers 119, Denver 108.